welcome today we are going to look at theory paper 2 questions and answers kindly subscribe question 1a outline Isaiah's prophecy on the suffering servant seven marks the servant will succeed in his work the success and honor will surprise many who will have witnessed his suffering the servant is despised rejected and ignored by those who are with him he has nothing attractive he is very ordinary and simple he is actually treated arrested and sentenced to death and killed his body is buried with the bodies of rich men or rather you can just say he will be buried in a rich man's tomb he endures all that is done to him in humble silence three suffering human beings are reconciled to god it is the will of god that the servant should suffer question 1b describe the activities that took place on the night when jesus was born is found in Luke chapter 2 verse 6 to 20 7 marks when Jesus was born his mother wrapped him in sandling clothes she laid him in a manger there were shepherds who were watching over their flock in the field at night an angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds the field and told them of the birth of the Savior. The angel gave a sign on how to identify the baby. A multitude of heavenly angels appeared praising God. The shepherds hurried off to Bethlehem. The shepherds found Mary, Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. The shepherds spread the news about the baby to other people. The shepherds returned glorifying God. Question 1 say, State six ways in which Christian couple should respond to the challenge of being childless. They should consult medical experts for advice. They should pray to God to give them a child. They should visit children's home to offer services to the needy ones. They should love each other and remain faithful. They should be patient and trust in God for a child. They can adopt a child and act as a foster parent. They can attend guidance and counseling sessions on family life education. Question 2a. With reference to the Sermon on the Plain, outline six teachings of Jesus on how human beings should relate to one another. Human beings should love one another. They should forgive one another. They should pray for those who wrong them. They should show mercy to others. They should not judge or condemn. They should do to others what they expect to be done to them. Question 2b. Describe the incident in which Jesus forgave the sinful woman. It's found in Luke chapter 7 verse 36 to 50. Simon the Pharisee invited Jesus to his house to eat with him. While he was at the table, a sinful woman came with an alabaster flask of ointment. She went... She wet to Jesus' feet with his tears. She used her hair to wet the feet of Jesus. The Pharisee who had invited Jesus questioned in his heart whether Jesus was a prophet. Jesus knew his thoughts and told him the parable of the creditor. Jesus asked Simon who of the two debtors, debtors love the creditor more. Simon said the debtor will more 
dead. He told Simon that the woman had shown much love because her many sins had been forgiven. The other guests began to question who Jesus was to have power to forgive sin. Question 2C State six lessons Christians learn from the miracle of feeding of the 5,000 people. Six marks. Christians should be compassionate. Or you can say Christians should be merciful. Christians should be concerned of the physical need of the people. They should thank God. They should serve others. They should practice obedience. They should be responsible. They should be careful. They should practice sharing. They should cooperate with others. They should be organized. Question 3a. Outline six teachings of Jesus about a committed follower from the story of the Good Samaritan. Six marks. A committed follower is one who is ready to assist those in need. One who understands the law of God and obeys it. One who is not restricted by cultural and religious taboos in assisting the needy. One who does not discriminate others on the basis of race, religion, or gender. One who is compassionate, kind, and generous. One who shows solidarity with those who are suffering. Question 3b. Outline seven teachings of Jesus on wealth from the story of the rich man and Lazarus. Seven marks. Wealth is temporary. Wealth should not make one proud of himself. Wealth does not save anyone from death. Wealth should be shared with the poor. Wealth should be used to maintain God's work. You can say wealth should be used to carry out God's work. The rich should not oppress the poor. The rich should have a correct attitude towards their wealth. The wealth should not be arrogant. Those who are wealthy should not be boastful to others. Question 3C. What is the relevance of the resurrection of Jesus to Christians today? 7 marks. It proved that indeed Jesus was the Messiah sent by God to liberate humankind. Jesus' resurrection gives Christians hope of life after death. Jesus' resurrection and sending of the Holy Spirit gave rise to the Christian church. It is an encouragement for Christians that it gives them confidence to face all forms of persecution. After resurrection, Christians will assume a spiritual and superior body, as was the case of Jesus. Christians share in the resurrection of Jesus through baptism and sharing in the Lord's Supper. His resurrection, ascension and sending of the Holy Spirit is an assurance of a second coming of Christ. The resurrection of Jesus is a sign of victory over death. Question 4 eh? State the teaching of Jesus on the role of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a counselor. The Holy Spirit would be an advocate. The Holy Spirit would be a comforter. He would remind the disciples the deeper meaning of teachings of Jesus. The Holy Spirit would reveal the sins of the world. The Holy Spirit would convict people of their sins. The Holy Spirit reveals truth about God. The Holy Spirit reveals the truth about the Holy Trinity. The Holy Spirit guides in all truth. The Holy Spirit would affirm Jesus is the Son of God. He would teach the disciples all things. He would reveal the glory of Jesus. He would empower the disciples to become witnesses of Jesus. The Holy Spirit would reveal all things to come. Did you understand?
kindly let me know in the comment section below also let me know what video you can you get tomorrow thanks a lot for subscribing and listening to me god bless you